And we just continue to see rain uh, and outside Jitsel is actually on the road uh, for us this morning, kind of giving us a, an update as well. She's at 81st and Lewis this morning. Uh, we just have some areas where you're going to be seeing water out there on the roadways. In fact, she's driving right through it this morning there. That's at 81st Street and Lewis Avenue. So a very wet start to the day and the showers are going to continue to come down until about 9 to 10 a.m. or so. Here's what it looks like on our satellite and radar view this morning. We do have pockets of heavier rain that are pushing through that uh, right uh, around Tulsa this morning. As we zoom on down, you can see that's coming in closer towards Inola, over towards Broken Arrow, Bixby, uh, Midtown now getting some areas of moderate rainfall, Sepulpa, uh, Jinx, you're right in the heart of it as well. So we're just going to continue to see this moderate rain kind of off and on throughout the morning hours. And we're also seeing a few areas where lightning's being detected, so it may be a little noisy in some spots as you wake up. Uh, here in Tulsa, again, in the downtown area, that light rain, moderate uh, rainfall coming down in Midtown. Now, your temperatures are at 59 degrees. We're going to watch for these temps to drop. In fact, this is the warmest that will be all day long. Uh, that cooler air already up towards the northwest there. So Bartlesville, Ponca City, Stillwater, you're sitting right around 50. It's 59 here in Tulsa, off towards the east and down towards the south. That's where we're still seeing mild conditions on the warmer side of this frontal boundary. On the other side, of course, that's where we're looking at those winds that are now coming in out of the north. About 10 to 20 miles per hour in spots. Uh, again, on the other side of the boundary, though, still looking at those southeasterly winds. So today we'll watch for these temperatures to drop uh, already since midnight. This is today's rainfall. So since midnight, uh, Tulsa has seen uh, over half of an inch of rain. Muskogee, take a look at that, about one and a half inches of rainfall. We are still expected to see uh, another uh, three quarters of an inch or so of rain as we head throughout the morning until this finally moves out of here. Uh, but with this rain on top of what we already saw yesterday, that's still what is putting us under that flood watch until seven o'clock tonight. Even though the rain is going to be wrapping up earlier than that, we're still under that flood watch until seven. All right, so let's watch you or walk you through the future cast. Today, we're going to be looking for showers to move across the area until around nine to 10 a.m. Then at that point, mostly cloudy skies are expected for Tulsa down towards the southeast. That's where we're going to be looking for still that heavy rain to kind of linger. So that southeastern corner of the state there, northwest Arkansas, even in portions of southwest Missouri, that's where we'll still see that rain into that mid morning and then afternoon hour. But here in Tulsa, we should start to look for more cloud coverage than rain by the afternoon. Uh, temperatures again starting off closer to around 59 to 60 degrees. But as you're coming home from work, as the kids are coming home from school, that's when those temperatures will be back down to about 49 to 50. And we'll kind of hover right in that area for the remainder of the day. At 90% chance for showers and storms, of course, that's in the morning. Later today, not expecting to see the rainfall. We're going to rebound back up into the low to mid 60s then for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We should clear out. And actually, by the end of the week, it's looking pretty good as we're expecting mostly sunny skies there on Friday. Uh, another chance for some rain, though, Saturday into Sunday as another front comes through the area and knocks those temperatures back down. All right.